With that down, let's move on to our third main topic today. And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Kyle Berry, who writes, Hey, John, I've noticed that this year has been a huge year for John Favreau. Between being a producer of Avengers Endgame, the biggest movie ever, directing The Lion King, biggest animated movie ever, co-starring in Spider-Man Far From Home, a $1 billion film, and executive producing and show running The Mandalorian, one of the biggest shows of the year, is it safe to say that 2019 was the year of John Favreau? Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And listen, every year for the last couple of years, usually by the end of the year, we start looking about whose year was this? You know, could, could was it this person's year? Was it that person's year? I'll tell you what, you've got some solid ground to, stop, to stand on if you want to take the position that 2019 was the year of John Favreau. You got some solid ground. Let's start with Avengers Endgame. The first thing you got to understand about Avengers Endgame is that Jon Favreau did nothing on it. He didn't. I mean, he, he admitted that himself. I remember this. You can go and find this interview. It says he had never even seen the movie. He hadn't seen a single thing of it by the time that movie came out. He really didn't do anything on it. But because of his work in previous films, he gets a credit as a producer on this one, blah, blah, blah. But by Jon Favreau's own words, he really didn't do anything on Endgame. So while his name is in the credits... He really didn't do anything for him so for, for that movie. So he would probably tell you and I don't credit anything for him with Endgame. So take that out of the equation. Okay, let's take Endgame out of the equation. Endgame's out of the equation. We are still left with a massively, massively impressive resume from 2019. As an actor, you're right. He was a co-star in one of the billion-dollar films of the year. Not the main star, not even the second main lead star, but he was a co-star in the film. And so that's that's great. That's good. But it's his work behind the camera this year. Now, love or hate Lion King? I loved Lion King. I know a lot of you guys didn't, and that's totally fair. I loved it. Not as Clearly not as good as the 1994 original, but I thought it was great nonetheless. Biggest animated film of all time. And from a visual effects point of view, one of the most mind-blowing job of animation and visual effects I had ever seen. There are so many times in that movie you got to pinch yourself to remind yourself that you're not looking at actual real footage. It is mind-blowing that that happens. So even without Endgame, co-star of a billion-dollar film, director of a billion-dollar film, and the biggest animated film of all time, and then this little thing called Mandalorian. Star Wars first real live action foyer into television series and all that kind of stuff. And they knocked it out of the park. Is it one of the top three best shows of the year? No, maybe not. Maybe it's not top three, but it was wonderful. One week episode, sorry, one really bad episode, one or two questionable. The rest were really fun and extremely exciting to watch. And, and I just, I just got a big, big kick out of them. I did. I got a massive kick out of those things. And and I love Mandalorian. And you got to give him credit for that. Maybe not for Endgame. Give him a little credit for Homecoming. Give him tons of credit for Lion King, biggest animated film of all time. And then you give him credit for Mandalorian, one of the biggest shows of the year. Now, normally when people will say to me, John, is this the year of this and this the year of that? I'll go, ah, pump the brakes on that. But you know what? I think you're right. I'm going to go on record right now and say, I think you're right. I think this was, in fact, the year of John Favreau. I, because I really don't know that. You, I mean, maybe you can make an argument. I mean, really? Really? You would really have to say this was the year of Bob Iger and Alan Horn. Because what did Disney do? Seven? Was it set? I might, I might be off by one or two, but was it like seven billion dollar films? Seven billion dollar films? I mean, so I guess really, if you want to really break it down, it's actually the year of Bob Iger and Alan Horn. For the first time in history, and might never be done again for the next 10 or 20 years, one studio, one team of executives put out seven films that cross the billion dollar mark. So really, it's the year of Bob Iger and Alan Horn. Bob Iger, the head of all Disney, but Alan Horn, the guy who runs all of the movie division for Disney uh, and answers and, and reports to Bob Iger. Really, it's their year. But if you want to get more down out of the executive level and come down to the in front of and behind the camera talent, I got to agree. 
I think this was the year of John Favreau. And I'm totally comfortable sticking with that. This was the year of John Favreau. So question here is, guys, what do you think? Do you agree that this was the year of John Favreau? Do you, can you maybe think of another talented person in front of or behind the camera that maybe it was their year more so than John Favreau's? How would you define that? Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.